what is up my dudes i am not a news channel but i am here to talk about some news anyway um because i just want to make sure people know um this is massive spoilers because i'm this whole video is talking about how to unlock characters in smash ultimate i've been hoping to find out the fastest way to unlock specific characters in a specific order that's really what i wanted to find out now for me personally um i don't mind playing as new characters and and obviously while i'm playing through classic mode and world of light i'm going to be playing as every character possible i want to get a feel for everyone i'm not going to just stick to playing class uh, uh world of light as only my main my only my main character no that's ridiculous because i don't think world of light's even going to be that hard especially when it comes to with all the uh, spirits themselves that change up the way you play there's no point in worrying about that the spirits is what you're going to really need to be worrying about um you know you could probably beat the whole game as mario and it doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter who you play as you know um but for me uh, and ob obviously also just playing as classic it's not going to be fun playing the same character over and over and over and that's not how you unlock characters anyway now you can play as your main over and over and over in versus match um but there's some interesting rules first we should talk about versus match because playing versus match is actually the quickest way to unlock every single character so for me i don't care about unlocking characters fast i care about unlocking characters um efficiently and specifically i want to unlock specific characters depending on who they are i want to unlock them first in case it, when i'm playing with my friends i can be like i, I don't want to whip out this guy you know I don't want people to not be able to use their mains. For example, I know people who are really like stressed out because they feel like Cloud's going to be one of the last characters to unlock. And honestly, it turns out um, Simon Belmont might be one of the last characters you can possibly unlock. Uh, and so uh, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, I, I just want to help make sure. Pe and that's another thing. I don't really want to wait a long time to unlock Simon or Ice Climbers or K. Rule. Uh, our, our Pokemon trainer, which Pokemon trainer seems to be someone you can unlock pretty quickly, so that's good. Um, let's go over versus matches first. So fastest way to unlock every character in the game is by playing versus mode. Apparently, in the previous Smash games, most of you probably know, like in Brawl and Smash Four, you could unlock characters like every ten fights. And eventually, it was like if you did like three hundred fights, you wouldn't have every character unlocked by that point. That's really, that's how, like, Smash Brawl worked. Smash 4 didn't have as many characters, but you could unlock every character in Smash 4 uh, for 3DS and Wii U by just playing Versus Mode. Um, that's probably the most boring way to unlock characters, but if you don't want to play through any sort of classic mode at all, um, then the best way to unlock characters would be playing Versus Mode, because there's not that many characters to unlock in Smash 4. And it's like you have most of the roster already, so you could just play around and you eventually unlock the rest. So that's how you unlock every character. Um, so to unlock... So yeah, in Versus Mode, in Smash Ultimate, it's different. You don't just play 10 matches. This time it's different. So this is important to note. Instead, it's every 10 minutes. Now, from what I understand, it doesn't actually matter if, if you're playing a bunch of matches. The playtime doesn't only go up in versus matches it actually goes up for just all of the game period if you unlock a character and then put the controller down and say to your friend you're playing with hey let's just grab a soda real quick and we'll come back you come back and if 10 minutes has passed since you guys have grabbed some drinks or whatever and by the time you're playing again you're you unlock another character at the end of this next match two matches you play two matches and you unlocked two characters however again 10 minutes has to pass up 10 minutes has to go by so well, the fun thing is if you if you're in the training mode or if you're in the menus or if you're you're playing around with your music and you're like i feel like 10 minutes has passed you can go back you can play a single match against the ai one stock really fast whatever when then you can unlock a character um that's fun also 10 minutes is a good pace for it, the way i'm gonna probably be unlocking characters with my friends is we're gonna pop the game in right off the bat and start unlocking motherfuckers. We're just gonna be playing versus mode. We're like, yeah, we're gonna start with the regular eight and we're just gonna play and have a good time. And we'll eventually have a bunch of people unlocked. And we don't know what order we'll get them in, it'll just be fun. Uh, and yeah, it's be 10 minutes. So 10 minutes of playtime 
and you'll have something unlocked. That, to me, seems perfect. It seems like a lot of fun. But if that's not fast enough for you, you can unlock characters even faster by playing versus mode. And this is why versus mode is the fastest way to unlock characters. It's not the 10-minute shit. That's actually not the fastest way to unlock characters. Because you could, you could probably beat World of Light faster than it would take to unlock every character by playing every, uh, a versus matches every 10 minutes. You could probably beat World of Light before then. However, the reason why it's the fastest is because you can actually, every time you unlock a character, quit out of Smash Ultimate, go back into Smash Ultimate, play one versus match, and you will have another motherfucking character unlocked. Holy shit. It's such a stupid way to spam the game. Apparently, you can unlock the game, you can unlock every character in like 95 minutes or 98 minutes or something like that. Basically, like an hour and like an hour and thirty minutes. You can you can unlock every single character in an hour and thirty minutes. So if that's what you care about, if you care about completing the roster as fast and efficiently as fucking possible, that's how you do it. That's how you want to do it. If you are having a party and you want to make sure every character is available at that party on fucking day one, do that. Do that, and then if you, literally if you play the game at midnight. December 7th, or, you know, December 6th, you wait till midnight, then it's midnight, now it's December 7th, you play that, you play the game, you do that f for an hour and 30 minutes, and then go to bed. That next fucking day, when you're playing with your mates, you'll have every motherfucker unlocked. So that's the fastest way to unlock every fucking character. That's important to know. Second way to unlock characters. Let's talk about that. Most of you probably realize how unlocking characters would be these three ways, which would be versus mode, world of light, and classic mode. Um, but it's like if I would tell someone how to unlock the characters in Brawl, I would say just play world of light. Or, or in Brawl, I would say just play subspace emissary, which is their the, like the story mode of that game. Because by the time you beat it, you'll have every character unlocked but three, and you can look up online where to find the last three characters. Or you can just, you know, do whatever requirements are needed to unlock them. Uh, to me, it seems the best way. But some people would rather just skip the story mode. If you don't want to play World of Light, I would say just play Classic Mode. I know some people are really against World of Light. Just play Classic Mode. And if you're really against Classic Mode, then you're, 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 gonna, you're, you're forced to play Versus Mode. Because that's the only fucking mode there is left. <laughs> so, like, at that point, don't buy the game if you're not going to play any of the modes. But, um... Yeah, versus mode, classic mode, world of light. Let's talk about world of light real quick. World of light has different branching paths, and I'm not exactly sure when you get to choose these paths because uh, looking at the list, it, it lists like duplicate characters. Like going the villager route, you unlock Link, Yoshi, Doctor Mario, Lucario, and Isabel. I want to be clear here that um, Link. And Yoshi, you start out with in the character select screen at the beginning, but this is unlocking Link and Yoshi for uh, World of Light, so you can use them in the World of Light. If you go the a different path that has the, the Pokemon starter, you can unlock Sheik, Marth, and Villager. Now, I guess there's another another splitting path after you go to if you go to the Pokemon route with Sheik, Marth, and Villager. It looks like there's more paths. So I'm not exactly sure if three Pokemon's route, the, the Pokemon starter route takes you back to the villager route in case you missed it. I, it's very, honestly, it's kind of confusing. But if you go the, after that, at that point, you have the choice of going for Sheik, Marth, and Sheik route gives you Jigglypuff if you go that route. And if you go Mars route, you can unlock Olimar, Mega Man, and Pac-Man. So some of this is kind of confusing. <laughs> okay, um, And then it looks like um, if you go the route of the Dark World, uh, you can unlock Zelda, Young Link, Ganondorf, Krom, Meta Knight, Ike, Sonic, Rob, Wolf, Greninja, Cloud, and Incineroar. When the sub-area called the light world will have king ddd so i guess you can choose to go between dark and light worlds at some point i think the game mostly is going to start out in the light world but i guess there's a there's like a sub area where maybe it's like a secret location and that's the only way to get to ddds by screwing around um 
this is not every character. I, I didn't list every character, obviously. But what I'm thinking is, is that the other characters will be unlocked just from moving forward. These are just for the different pa paths. There's going to be multiple routes you can take at some points. So going these, I'm, you can backtrack for these characters. I don't think I, I don't think you can at any point. But eventually you can get all these characters. But if you want to make sure you get Marth faster, for example, maybe you should go through the Pokemon Trainer route, and that will lead you to Marth. You know. It looks like later, eventually I'm sure you can backtrack, but I think I've heard somewhere that you can't backtrack until like you finish that route or something like that. I think Game Explain said something like that when they played the 4-hour uh, game demo. So I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, it seems like World of Light, those are, that's how you unlock characters through different paths. And everyone else you'll just, I guess, you just unlock through playing the, the, the story. So, uh, playing through World of Light, that's going to be a good way to unlock characters. Uh, for sure. And it's the new mode. It's kind of like, to me, like when, when a fighting game has a story mode, that's usually your, the go-to mode for getting a chance to play as every character and see how you like them. But, I want to make sure that people know, when you're playing World of Light, this is the trick. Okay, so in classic mode, the trick is turn the game off, every time you unlock a character and you'll just spam unlocking characters that doesn't sound fun in a party scenario but that's i'm just saying like that's how you unlock characters that as fast as possible otherwise you just wait 10 minutes um how to unlock characters in this scenario how to unlock characters when you're playing world of light there's a few characters that will randomly unlock when you quit out so there's a key to World of Light where you just sometimes you play a few matches, quit out, and come back. If you've played enough World of Light, you'll random. It says randomly you'll randomly unlock when, just from sometimes from exiting World of Light mode. You don't have to turn off the whole game like with Classic mode, or sorry, with Versus mode. Versus mode you have to turn off the whole game. With World of Light mode, you just have to exit out, and you can unlock Inkling, Ike, Zero Suit Samus, Marth, Zelda, Sheik, or Peach. So, normally it looks like you have to unlock Sheik before Zelda, which I kind of like because it means, like, Z you have to earn Zelda, but, like, Sheik's outside, like, not in in the Zelda form. Kind of reminds me of Ocarina of Time, where Link talks to Sheik multiple times, but Zelda's supposed to be prisoned by Ganon somewhere. And it's like, well, first you gotta deal with Sheik, and then you get Zelda. So, I like that, but it, apparently for doing this... You, you could randomly have the chance to unlock Sheik or Zelda, you know. You could randomly unlock Peach. You could randomly unlock Inkling. That could be a really nice way, a really nice surprise. You just randomly get Inkling. You're like, damn, sweet. Like, you know. So, that's cool. That's fucking dope. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's that's an important note. I would say after a few matches, every so often, to just quit out of World Light and go back into it. I don't, I'm not sure how long it will take to load up. Um, but I'm saying that seems like a good idea that you could randomly unlock these characters. However, once you unlock Inkling, Ike, Xerxes, Samus, Marth, Zelda, Sheik, and Peach, maybe you should just play, you know, there's no point in quitting out at that point. You're not going to randomly get Richter Belmont, you know, you're not going to randomly get Ridley all of a sudden. You know, that's not how it works. You just get those characters, it looks like. Um, now let's talk about classic mode. Classic mode is like crazy there's like this big fucking chart with like that says like how to unlock characters uh and there's there's a little helpful guide that says who will unlock what i'm going to try to put something on screen so that way you guys can know like what the fuck's going on but basically um I don't, I'm not sure what I will use for this graphic. I'll probably have it up at all time, the whole video or something. Um, hold on. Okay, at this point, I should have a new graphic up on screen, and it should be showing how to unlock characters in classic mode. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to use yet, because there's different ones. But... Let me, let's, let's see, where should we start here? I'm not going to, at this point, list every character you can unlock on classic mode, but I do want to list some of the quicker ones. Um, because if you're playing this right off the bat, this might be where you want to start. 
Um, now I'm not exactly sure how accurate and how fast this will be. I feel like when the when you have no characters unlocked and you start playing classic mode, you are probably going to have the chance. I mean, you're going to unlock a character once you beat it. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't matter who you fucking pick. But what character, I don't know. Um, it looks, though, if you follow this guide, if you beat the game first as Mario, if that's the first character you beat, then you should unlock Sonic. Um, so if you want Sonic really fast, Mario is a good start. Now, do, is Sonic significant to Mario in any way? No, actually, I think that the way you unlock characters, I don't think it's very significant to anything other than a few. There's a few that look like they're kind of significant depending on what you do. So, if you beat the game as Mario, you can unlock Sonic. Sonic can unlock Bayonetta, which is kind of cool because they're both from Sega. Um, and then Bayonetta can unlock Dr. Mario or Little Mac or Pichu. And that's pretty cool. Because that means after you beat it as Bayonetta, you unlock Dr. Mario, and that like goes back to Mario. Um, you can unlock. It looks like you can unlock Pokemon Trainer, but you can do it as Mario or Donkey Kong. That's good to know. If you just beat the game as Mario again, you might unlock him. Um, that sounds good to know. So you don't unlock Luigi with Mario. Um, how? That's weird. Where do you unlock Luigi? Oh, you unlock Luigi with Ike. That's peculiar. You can also unlock Dr. Mario with Roy. That's kind of weird, too. Some of these I do wonder if, if if it's like a weird, like, you know, sometimes you unlock characters in classic mode just by doing weird shit. Um, but for those of you who like Lucina, if you beat the game as Marth, you unlock Lucina, but you could also unlock Ryu, it looks like. But if you beat the game as Ryu, you could possibly unlock Lucina. And Lucina unlocks Ridley... And Ridley possibly unlocks Crom, So, that's good to know. Um, there's definitely a lot of ways to unlock characters with the same... With, with different characters, or something like that. Um, so, it looks like if you, for example, want Ice Climbers, beat the game as Link. Then you can unlock K. Rule. Then if you beat the game as K. Rule, you'll either unlock Ice Climbers or uh, Simon Belmont. So maybe if you unlock Simon, just beat the game as K. Rule again, and you'll unlock the Ice Climbers. So, and that's another thing. If you want Belmont, the game starts out with Link. If you want to unlock K. Rule and Simon Belmont right off the bat, play as Link, then K. Rule, and then you possibly will have Simon Belmont. If you beat the game as Simon Belmont, you unlock Young Link, and that's a character I'm very interested in. Very fucking interested in Young Link. And if you beat the game as Young Link, you could possibly unlock Richter or um, Palutena. So these are all this is all stuff I'm interested in. I'm, I might just sit on Classic Mode and beat it as Link and then beat it and beat it and beat it until I have the, that going for me. Um, it looks like if you beat um, the game as... So my little brother, for example, mains Cloud. He was kind of stressed out. He doesn't know how to unlock Cloud. That's the whole reason why I even looked into this stuff because I wanted to know the fastest possible way to unlock Cloud. Turns out, if you beat the game as Dark Samus, you can unlock Cloud. Seems like the only way to unlock um, Cloud is with Dark Samus. The fastest way to unlock Dark Samus is beating the game as Samus. It looks like you might possibly unlock someone else, like Isabelle or Inkling. But at the end of the day, once you have Dark Samus unlocked, you can just beat the game as Cloud. Or you can beat as Dark Samus and you get Cloud. Cloud unlocks Wario, which is kind of fun. If you are trying to unlock uh, Diddy Kong, for example, because Diddy Kong looks beast, play as uh, Cloud, then Wario, and then you'll unlock uh, Dark Pit. Once you unlock Dark Pit, Dark Pit apparently unlocks Diddy Kong. What a weird case of events. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, if you beat it as Wii Fit Trainer, you unlock Incineroar. That's good to know. Um, what else? If you're Pac-Man main, Pac-Man's probably not going to be very good in this one, but if you want to unlock him anyway... Playing as Kirby will unlock Ness. Ness will unlock the other spherical characters, like Jigglypuff and Pac-Man. I wonder if that's because Kirby unlocks Ness. Um, and if you beat the game as Fox, you unlock Captain Falcon, which I think is very fitting. And if you beat as Captain Falcon, you unlock Falco. So, yeah, Fox, then Falcon, then Falco. That one actually goes together. What doesn't go together is unlocking Peach, Bowser Jr., and Daisy to, by beating it as Falco. Do you have to be as Falco for all three of them? That doesn't make any sense to me. Just beating Classic Mode as Falco over and over. That doesn't sound very fun. Rather just play someone else. 
Um, I'm sure Peach can unlock Daisy in some way, because Marth unlocks Lucina. Ryu doesn't seem to unlock Kin, though. How to unlock Kin might involve Duck Hunt Dog. How to unlock Duck Hunt Dog might unlock might involve Pichu. So that's always a fun way, a uh, fun thing. Is there a faster way to unlock Duck Hunt Dog? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't fucking look like it. That's really weird. Um, looks like the best way to unlock Ridley is by playing as Lucina. It seems like every path involving uh, Lucina involves Ridley right after her. Seems like uh, Crumb might be unlocked after with Ridley. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I think I already said that. Uh, how to unlock them. But either way, just like uh, Rosalina and Greninja are unlocked from Pokemon Trainer every way. And it looks like Moon Knight unlocks Snake, which is kind of a cool tribute to Brawl. Snake unlocks Richter, which is kind of cool because they're both on PS1. And uh, Toon Link can be unlocked by Richter because Richter is unlocked by Young Link. So even if you unlock Richter different ways, it seems like how you unlock Toon Link. Uh, seems like Lucas can always for sure unlock Palutena. So yeah, it's fun that you could possibly unlock Ken before Ryu. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, it's also fun that you could go a long time without ever unlocking Luigi. That's always fun to me, too. Um, Rob unlocks Game & Watch. That's really cool. And, yeah. You know, and the thing is, is that, like I said, playing classical mode, you'll probably unlock characters like Galore just randomly. You'll probably just be randomly unlocking characters throughout your journey. Just playing classical mode will unlock characters. If you're trying to shoot for those specifics, then I would follow for this guide. This guy will probably be the best way to unlock specific characters instead of playing just World of Light. But if you're just trying to unlock every character the fastest possible, play versus mode and then reset the game after every battle. And if you're just trying to unlock every character in the most enjoyable way possible and you have time, I would say World of Light. Um, if you you know, otherwise, I would just say. Classic mode doesn't take too long if you just want to beat every single classic mode. I'm probably going to try to beat every single classic mode whether I have every character unlocked or not. I'm probably going to play World of Light, and then once I beat it, if I don't have every character unlocked, then I'll be like, huh, okay. <laughs> I'll start playing classic mode. <laughs> Unlocking characters that way. Um, if I And also, I'm going to have a few characters being unlocked from playing versus mode, because I'm going to be playing that day one with my buddies uh, before I even touch World of Light. And then, of course... Once I, you know, at that point, I'll have a lot of characters to choose from for starting to play classic mode to be able to unlock characters as fast as I possibly want. Maybe I'll unlock Falco pretty, you know, just from playing versus mode, and then I can go and get Daisy or something because I already have Peach unlocked before Falco. The one thing I couldn't find, is, sadly, is the in order you unlock characters by playing versus mode. Sadly, there's no real, like, for sure order out there. And if there is, I couldn't find it. Um, and that sucks because I don't know, will you be unlocking characters randomly? Will you be unlocking characters a fixed order? Will the fixed order appear random to the naked eye, to the someone who's uneducated? Will it be chronological order? Because that means you'll be unlocking the newest characters at the very end. Maybe you'll unlock a character from Melee, and then maybe unlock a character from 64, I should say, then Melee, then Brawl, then 4, then Smash Ultimate. And, uh, you know, and it'll go like that. I don't know. Seems like if you want some of the newer characters, playing Classic Mode is a great way to unlock characters from Brawl and Smash 4 era first. Um, and then unlocking characters from the... Uh, melee and Smash 64, your best bet will probably be playing World of Light first. So it is cool that it seems like no matter what you do, unlocking characters, the three different ways will get you a mix, a mishmash of all the different characters until you have the roster completely filled out. I think it's gonna be fun seeing who my characters, who my friends have unlocked compared to who I have unlocked as we all are playing Smash Ultimate. So Definitely, at the end of the day, it's going to be a fucking rad-ass time. Cannot wait for this shit, dude. Unlocking characters in Smash is always fun. I, th I really thought Brawl did it best uh, because it gave you multiple options of unlocking characters. And Brawl had Subspace Emissary, so you unlock the characters as you're getting to play as them all. Um, and 
Smash 4, I understand why they didn't have as many unlockable characters, but I think that unlocking characters should be a, a staple. And I don't think unlocking characters is a, a challenge or a, a downside to the game. Um, you know, I, I don't think so at all. And um, people can just unlock characters, uh, you know, at, at their own pace. And just by, if you just only want to play versus mode, you will unlock all the characters in no time. And it'll be a fun way to, um, you know, just get some characters. The best part about this, the way the versus mode works, is that basically after like ten battles in brawl, you would unlock like Ness or Marth or something. And the problem is, if you already had those characters unlocked from subspace, you wouldn't unlock a different character in its place. So if you unlocked every character in brawl except for Wolf, unlocking Wolf would take like you know possibly 200 to 300 versus matches because one of the last characters you unlock by doing versus matches and if you you're trying to unlock him and you're like well i played a bunch of subspace emissary how do i unlock wolf now you're not going to get him unless you literally start grinding and it's not going to feel very rewarding and successful when you're grinding and after like 75 matches you still haven't unlocked someone so the way the versus mode works in this one means you will actually start unlocking characters pretty damn quickly if you have every character unlocked by playing... Let's say you beat Classic Mode 20 times already, and you beat half of World of Light. At this point, you probably have a lot of characters unlocked, and when your friends come over, you can just start playing Versus Mode, and you will probably fill out the rest of those characters. Not, not too long, because every 10 minutes will unlock a new character. So this is going to be the easiest way to unlock characters. Basically... Of all time. This is going to be the fastest and easiest way to unlock characters of all time of any Smash game. The reason why? It's because there's so fucking many. But it probably won't feel so bad as you're unlocking them from playing. And it'll force everyone to play as everyone. You know, right off the bat, when all your friends come over, they're going to be forced to all play as the original eight. And then as you unlock these characters... You can all try out the new characters unless they just don't seem interesting to you. Then you can try some other characters you haven't tried yet. And eventually, at that point, you'll have played as like every character to the point where you'll want to know which character, like you know which one you want to main, which one you, you want to stick with. And then you, once you unlock a new character, you can try that new character, see how good they are, unless they just don't seem interesting to you. And that's a good way for everyone to get involved, everyone to try out every character. For me personally, I don't think it's going to be a big deal, and I, I hope the order you unlock is in versus mode is random, but I kind of feel like it's not going to be. I kind of feel like it's going to be a fixed order. I just hope the order is interesting, and it's not in the actual chronological order that you uh, the game, characters have appeared in. Um, while I think that's very cute for this game, for the character select screen, um, honestly, I would have probably preferred if they ordered it by franchise again, like they did in Smash 4 and Brawl. But that's okay. I'm not that mad. I'm not that bitter. So we'll just have to see what happens here, guys. Um, I am very excited to unlock characters. I'm very excited for this game. Oh, my gosh. How many days away is it as this, this video is uploaded? This video is technically being uploaded at midnight. So past midnight. So this is on Wednesday, the 28th. Jesus Christ. nine days away it's less than 10 days i can't even believe it it's less than 10 days jesus christ <laughs> man so close guys so close once once it hits um friday it'll be one week away from smash ultimate can you guys even fucking believe it now, I'm still going to be doing possible DLC videos because I, I think that even when Fighters came out, some of the most fun I had was still trying to predict DLC characters. And then, of course, the fun was vanished because of data mines. Well, data mining, Smash Ultimate's already been data mined, and there's no hint of the DLC. So I still want to make DLC predictions. My last one was for Joker for Persona 5. And that one was very exciting and very fun to do uh, because 
I love Joker and I love Persona 5. So what character I should predict next? I'm not exactly sure because I don't know. I think we're I'm getting down past the nitty gritty. I've already done like five characters and I don't think all of them are going to be in. I think there is going to be some other ones and I need to think of other Nintendo characters. So far, the only Nintendo characters I really did was Rex and Pyra. And I actually didn't play Xenoblade when I suggested that. And since I've made that video, I've gone and played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's the first Xenoblade game I've played. And I gotta say, I've already really started to enjoy the combat system. And I really like Rex and Pyra. I think this, I feel like they just deserve to be in Smash. I feel like they deserve to be in Smash far more than a lot of the other characters in Smash. And this is coming from someone who previously wasn't a Xenoblade fan. Now I am a massive Xenoblade fan, but I don't want to play a Shulk. I still don't want to play a Shulk. So please give me Rex and Pyra. That would be so good as DLC. But I still want to make DLC prediction videos. That's what I'm doing next. I will have to catch you guys later. So see you guys on the flip side.